Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new episode. Today we're gonna talk about how to fix the cyclic redundancy check error on Windows. Pretty unpleasant situation because when you try to access a drive very often an external one you get this error cyclic redundancy check and you're totally unable to access any data. Fortunately, we know a few ways how to fix this behavior and of course how to get your files back in a safe way. So stay tuned until the end of this episode and if you enjoy this kind of practical data solutions and tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel. My name is Michael, let's go! Before we dive into the troubleshooting section, of course we need to talk about what causes this kind of error. So CRC, cyclic redundancy check, it's a basic method and algorithm which is used by Windows for verification of data the way it's being written to different drives. So it could be a hard drive, could be CD or DVD or of course an external thumb drive. No matter what the drive is, CRC is gonna be there and every time you access some files it's actually in place. So far it makes perfect sense but we need to talk about the actual reasons and we've narrowed down the top four reasons for this occurring. Uh, one of the major issues usually is the Windows registry. As a second suspect, could be a cluttered hard drive, could be a misconfiguration or failed installation of a specific software or program, or misconfigured files. Of course, if it's none of these software-related reasons, could be a hardware issue and a bad sector or a sequence of bad sectors could be, of course, the major reason for CRC errors, as a lot of you might remember, when trying to copy data from a CD drive, this cyclic redundancy check, then you pull out the DVD or CDD drive and you just wipe it clean and then it works. Well, unfortunately on hard drives we can't execute the same things, but luckily for us they have more advanced mechanisms for protecting their data. So now it's time to explore a few different ways of how to fix the condition and trust me, the sooner you get rid of the CRC errors, the better for your data consistency. So let's begin with the first method. Like any other hard drive related error, we can try fixing the cyclic redundancy checks issues with the check disk utility. For people who don't know check disk, it's a built-in in Windows utility that is designed to find and fix different errors on your hard drives Here's how we can use the check disk utility on our Windows computer. First of all, we open command prompt, run it as administrator. To do this, type CMD in the start menu, right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. Once the command prompt is opened, type CHKDSK, the drive letter, slash F, slash X, slash R and press enter. Wait for check disk to scan and fix the available problems. It's gonna take longer for hard disk drives, which are of a big size. And of course, it's gonna be much quicker on SSDs with a smaller size. Once the process completes, close command prompt and see if you're able to open the drive or not. Another way to fix the cyclic redundancy errors is by using System File Checker, also known as an SFC scan. This is a commonly used utility for scanning and repairing different file systems. Since misconfigured system files can also be the cause for CRC errors, we can use the SFC to fix that. So again, we open command prompt. Now we type SFC slash scan now and we press enter. Wait for a few minutes until system file checker is ready and done with scanning and fixing all the system files. Again, after the process completes, check if you're able to access the hard drive or not. If we still keep on getting CRC errors, time to try Disk Check. This is another Windows utility that can be launched from the File Explorer. Disk Check will perform a quick scan and repair all the damaged system files so that you can regain access to your hard drive. So we open File Explorer, right-click the drive that we want to repair, then click on Properties. Switch to the Tools tab and press Check. At this point, Windows will initiate the Disk Check utility and start scanning the hard drive. Wait for a few seconds and once the process completes, you're going to be able to access the drive without any interruption or whatsoever. Right, if the CRC errors were caused by any software-related issues, they should have been fixed by now by any of the three scenarios we've just reviewed. And if that's the case, well done. Thing is that there's a catch. 
Could be that while we have been fixing the file system or the system files, some of the data has been marked as unreadable or unaccessible or it's just missing from your hard drive. So in that case, you might have to recover some of your data which is currently unavailable on your system, but don't you worry because we have a very good working solution for you. Let me show you recover it. Time to quickly walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure of recovering deleted files using our brilliant software. So first of all, install and launch recovery on your computer and select the drive's location where you think there are some files missing. If that's an external device, make sure to select it. Then click Start in order to begin the scanning process. This is going to take a while, be patient and also regularly take a look at the list with the files until you find those that you actually need. After Recovery has completely finished the scanning process, it is displaying the whole list with everything it managed to find and is potentially recoverable. Go ahead and I'll check for these files that you want to be retrieved back. For some of them, like videos and photos, you can use the preview function and as soon as you make sure that these are the exact files that are missing and you want to recover, hit that corresponding button and your files are going to be back safe and sound in no time. So that's it for today's episode. I believe it was very easy to follow and hopefully very useful and uh, perhaps those four procedures have helped you first of all to get rid of all the CRC errors and secondly to have full access to your most favorite files. If that's the case I think we well deserve the like you're about to press right now and of course for more practical data solutions hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or probably another kind of idea how to fix a cyclic redundancy check error then join us in the comment section below the video. My name is Michael Wishes for a wonderful day and see you in our next episode. Bye!